Zen. If you found interest in Eastern philosophy or meditation, this is a word you've no doubt come across at least a few times. In this video, let's examine the importance of having a calm Zen mentality and how by quote unquote doing nothing, you can still be productive. Let's begin. The world can be chaotic and stressful. We can't deny that. Often, we find ourselves having a lot of demands placed on us. It could be from our job, from our family, or even from ourselves. Demands can come from any number of directions, and unfortunately, probably multiple directions at the same time. As a result, we can feel out of control, overwhelmed, and even resentful of the things that are pushing against us. We find ourselves looking forward to the weekends or extended vacations to help ease the stress we may feel at work. That might work for a little while, but how often have you found that when you come back Monday morning, there always seems to be that one email or phone call within the first few days, if not hours, that spirals you back right where you were before you left? Wouldn't it be great to find that calm state of having less stress at work or at home? To finally be able to find direction and have a sense of control throughout your day, and not just when you go on vacation or leave work. In a Western society that emphasizes grinding and consistently working hard, Zen is a countercultural approach that goes against the grain of the things that we've been taught. For example, we're often told we need to be hyper-connected and always within the reach of others. We always have our phones by us for easy access to check emails, text, or social media. Some of us even need to sleep with our phone by our side. It's rare that we're allowed to just be. And while we're told that this is the optimal productive state, we don't believe that it actually is. In fact, it's destructive in any meaningful way we would call the word productive. We're told to be productive, but while we're in the conditions of being overwhelmed, that becomes virtually impossible. It's not that email, text messaging, and social media are the problem. At the core, they're just tools, tools that can actually be powerful and useful. The problem is that we haven't figured out or been taught how we can properly fit them within our day. We need to learn how to use these tools and not let the algorithms and notifications use us. So why go Zen? Again, what does Zen have to do with productivity? We believe that one of the most powerful sources of productivity come from this Zen state of mind. Zen involves those moments of flow where we find depth and richness in the present moment, where we're fully attentive and in tune with the moment. It's that moment when we finish something and come out feeling energized, refreshed, and have this feeling of accomplishment instead of feeling drained and tired. We might even start looking for more work to do. It's from that state of both relaxed and heightened attention where we lose ourselves in the work, where we often make our most powerful and even beautiful works. These tools we've been given by the tech innovations these past decades can be a hindrance to this relaxed state of mind. They pile onto the stress that we already have from the work we need to finish. And all of this stress hinders one of the main Zen principles, the one thing that we all naturally grew up doing without anyone needing to remind us to do it. That thing that, as adults, we often forget about its importance. Play. At the root of Zen is play, where the work we do becomes effortless, as if we were a child again, playing with our favorite toys and games, not worrying about the stress the outside world brings. In this state of mind, we are naturally focused on the present moment. We become more inquisitive, exploring, and creative. It can be a wonderful experience when we find play and realize the power it actually has to help us do solid work. A good working session is often filled with that sense of play, where we're fully present in the moment and feel that what we're doing now is all there is to be doing. And that's why play is so important to our work. But as adults, we often drift away from this very critical element. Guiding play and work is a practice skill. It's not something most of us can do naturally anymore. As kids, 
Our parents would make playgrounds for us. They'd make these areas where we could play and do so in a way that we wouldn't be worried about our environments. We'd be able to fully focus and engage in whatever it is that we were doing. But now, we need to practice making those environments for ourselves. And the better we can guide play in our work, the more vibrant, enjoyable, and self-directed our own lives can be. So, a major step in the Zen approach to productivity is finding that play in your work so that you can bring out your most productive self however it is you decide to define that. The simplicity of this concept is refreshing and almost laughably simple. As adults, we tend to try and spin several things at the same time or pre-plan all of our tasks in advance and almost neglect the actual quote-unquote doing part. And as a result, things end up feeling like a struggle to get done. We end up mentally exhausting ourselves before even beginning our work. The secret to being productive and efficient in your everyday work is being engaged, attentive with whatever is in front of you. The key is to be conscious without thinking about it too much and just tackle one task at a time. Being present and being productive can go hand in hand. In fact, they often complement one another. Let's try out this exercise for ourselves right now. For the next 10 seconds, focus on an object in your environment. Don't physically touch it, just mentally pick it up and spin it around. What does it feel like? How much does it weigh? What does it smell like? Consider how much just happened in those 10 seconds. Now, imagine what you can do when you bring this combination of focus and play to everything you do throughout your day. Do one thing at a time without thinking about the other 12 tasks for the day. Then, once you're done, move on to the next task and the next, giving each item on your to-do list the same presence you gave the last. Be present to the moment-by-moment -moment lapse of time that slowly compounds to make up our lives without us realizing before it's too late. That's all you need to do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. So the point is therefore that you can do everything you have to do in this spirit. Don't make a distinction between work and play. Regard everything that you're doing as play and don't imagine for one minute that you've got to be serious.